wait for it. Hello everybody and welcome to Pocket Morty's. My name is Brandon Dude and I am loving this game. I have it on my phone but I decided I want to play it uh, so I'm emulating it on my computer. So I'm basically starting a brand new file here. Um, if you haven't seen Rick and Morty, it is a Adult Swim um, kind of a cartoon, kind of a Boy, I don't even... It's very, very uh, reminiscent of, like, Back to the Future and Invader Zim and all these weird influences, and it just does not hold back. So it is absolutely good. So I guess I could start reading these in some voices as Morty. Here you go. What are you making, Rick? He asked me to go get a screwdriver. I'm building a device, Morty. I, I call it the Morty Pad. The Morty Pad? Is that where the funky music is coming from? Yeah, Morty. But as usual, you've missed the real point here. The Morty Pad is also collects stats on the Mortys we meet. There's, There are dimensions everywhere, Morty, all inhabited by other Mortys. Although I'm getting some crazy readings, it seems like Mortys are being se separated from their Ricks. That's awful, Rick. Yeah, I mean, us Ricks need to get a break from you Mortys every once in a while, but the separation numbers are through the roof. All my voices are good. Anyway, Rick, look, there's a portal. <laughs> so this is set up as a standard old-time type of RPG. So we have Rick and Morty, and then interdimensional other universe Rick and Mortys that we battle in a very um, very recognizable way I will say I don't want to spoil it just yet we must battle our Mortys Rick that doesn't sound like a good idea hang on Morty this could be a good opportunity <laughs> test the Morty pad gather some data I don't think I should, Rick. It doesn't sound safe. It's okay, Morty. I got a friend who can talk us through it. You'll be fine. Let's battle. You're not getting past me, punk. <laughs> Stray cat, Morty. I love that. We gotta win this one, Morty. I'm doing the best I can. So, this is set up as a classic... RPG style like Game Boy game uh, very very reminiscent of the old Pokemon games so we got only one option right now mr. what is that mr. poopy pants oh, I can't remember his name so I'm going to attack and outburst that's all I can do right now oh yes and he used furball fur ball on me so basically, this is Pokemon, but instead of capturing and collecting Pokemon of different types, you are capturing and collecting different Mortys from different universes. Aha, uh -huh. got him good. You might want to take your uh, excitement up down a couple of notches, punk. Punk. I received 45 schmeckles. That is the currency. Add. Defeat me. This can't be. I must return to my dimension to train my Morty. And he takes off. Wow, did you feel that, Morty? What a rush. I just feel pain, Rick. A lot of pain. He almost had us, Morty. He came from behind and almost had us. We need to train you up, Morty. Situations are why I built the Morty pad. We need to train you, gather data, make you stronger. I don't think I should rattle again, Rick. You have to, Morty. How else am I going to get my research if you don't? This guy could come back with an army of Mortys. If we don't gather data for the Morty pet, we might not be able to beat him next time. You have to do this, Morty. You have to battle for science. Only you can save us, Morty. 
Is this really the only way, Rick? I feel like there has to be another way. <laughs> oh, my voice. Can't do this very much. There isn't Morty, I don't like it either, but it's the only way. First, we need to find out where... So let's go into the portal. So now we're going into the other dimension that the other Rick uh, portaled to... or portaled from. Morty, this must be the mysterious Rick's dimension. It looks lovely, actually. We must look around for him. And now, it is a standard... Uh-oh. Why are my ASDs working? <laughs> WASD confirm. Oh no. It's not WASD. It has to be clicking on the screen. That is very interesting. My gamepad doesn't work. That doesn't work. Oh no, people. I don't want to click on the screen the whole time. That's going to be lame and tough. Hey, look, Rick, there's something on the ground. You're right, Morty. Let's go pick it up. All right. You received one Morty manipulator chip. Now, this is basically the Pokeball of the game, which is hilarious. Look, another Morty. He looks a lot scruffier version. He looks like a lot scruffier version of me, Rick. Yeah, Morty. He must have been separated from his Rick. He became lost and slightly feral. Oh, Rick, that's horrible. We have to help him. If I can hack that chip we found and attach it to him, he'll think he belongs to us. It's going to be tricky, though. Wild Mortys are easily spooked. We could chase him and wear him out when he takes a breath. Let's give it a go. Catch him as he takes a... Got it, Brandon. Oh, jeez. So this might be a little bit of a tricky thing until I get more things figured out here because I have to control Rick here and catch that guy. Oh. Oh, come on. Aha! Got him. Oh, whew. That was tough. You challenged the wild <laughs> care of a scruffy Morty. Morty. Oh, he's so good. So I need to weaken him. <laughs> oh, it's so good. The sounds. Now we're going to use our manipulator chip. Use... We're just gonna staple it into his skin. It's just like the Pokeball shake. It does it a couple times and then All it's right. successful or not. So I now have Scruffy Morty as my second <laughs> as my second Morty. Oh, it's so good. They actually did a really good They did a really good job making this game. Sorry, I was I was reading and <laughs> not really doing anything I was supposed to be doing there. This all goes without saying you're the leader of this pack. Well, I guess it would. When you put it like that, Rick, I guess it could do with extra help. So basically, we're forced to help no matter what. So we need more Mortys to help us fight off the other guys. So now, let's see, where is my... Oh, I don't have a backpack yet. <laughs> oh, classic game mechanics. You walk in front of an enemy and he gets excited and comes over and battles you. Everyone's going crazy for Morty Collection. You'll find lots of trainers looking for to battle their Mortys. Of course we will, because that's how these games work. And it's so good. Not so fast. Punk. <laughs> <laughs> Mustache Morty. All right, Morty. Yeah, go Morty. Oh, this is an interesting game mechanic too that they introduced. It is a rock paper scissor game mechanic. So the wild Morty there, he or the Mustache Morty, he is a scissor type. 
So I need the rock type that I just got. So they're making me switch. So switch. And you see into the right side there, my second Morty is a rock type. So I'm going to switch to him. So now I can use my rock attack Come and it will be very... Up, <laughs> and it will be much more... Here, watch. Attack. And that, that attack there has a rock on it. So I'm going to use that. And it's extra powerful. It's ex extra powerful that they call sensational. And he used a debuff on me. I will attack him again because that's all I have on this Morty. Aha. Uh -huh. Sneer. He used another debuff on me. My attack fell. Attack, and this should take care of him. And down goes Mustache Morty. Yay, Scruffy Morty. Yay. Hey, loser. Nice try. Go get better Mortys. Sixty schmeckles. One serum. Your strong, heavy more Mortys does help in a battle. And using the right types can mean the difference between winning and losing. Thanks, Calyrax. You should keep following the path until you find the Rick of this dimension. Beat him and you'll earn a badge. See? Th this is... This game is built on badges also, and it is absolutely brilliant. But anyway, I am about 12 minutes in, so this is the introduction, basically, to Pocket Mortys. Uh, thank you for liking, or thank you for checking out my video. If you liked it, hit that like button, because it lets me know that you are out there, and uh, it helps everything, really. It makes, it, ma it makes tomorrow less cloudy and uh, more sun shining, so hit that like button. And... As always, thank you guys. We will see you all soon. Bye!